Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, dude, nice see you. In real life, then on well, camera. I am tall. I got yeah. Also, I've got uh, lifts in my shoes. <laughs> this is a oh, guy who wanted to see if our meeting this morning. Nice. That's why. Okay. Jeremiah Johnson. I'm from Iowa. I'm a delegate, uh, an alternate delegate to the National Convention, and I had an invitation about a week ago to the Council on Foreign Relations. They're meeting three times this week. I believe they sent invitations to all the delegates. Well, from what I understand of the Council on Foreign Relations, um, they were instituted by Rockefeller, I believe, back in 1923, and um, so I've done a little bit of research on them. Um, I understand that you know they do try to influence the media to a certain degree. There's a great amount of people in the media who are members of the Council on Foreign Relations. Um, I understand, too, that they do try to influence politics to a certain degree, and they do have a uh, agenda. Maybe they do, some of them do have good intentions with it, but the agenda to uh, bring our world to a one world government but I don't believe that they they have the idea or understanding of individual sovereignty or appreciate that I don't believe that they have the idea of our understanding of individual liberties and God-given rights as opposed to state-given rights they believe that the, the state is what should give you rights most of them are of that and that sort. Um, it was a symposium where they had invited people to come, the delegates and different people to come, um, prominent positions. That's the RNC. Well, it was it was at the Humphrey Institute. Yeah. There was a fellow that was in the the Bush um, administration that was there that was speaking at the symposium, and there was also. Um, at this meeting, and no, there weren't any of the, I, at least I didn't recognize any of the candidates. I didn't look at all the people. They might have you, if you want to know where Barack Obama, where John McCain get these things that they run on, right there at that meeting, you will find the source of where those, those ideas are coming from. Because see, it wasn't from the American people. The idea of, let's say, hiking up the gas prices, like Obama was suggesting, that's something that came right out of the mouth of, of, a, of, of a think tank from the Council on Foreign Relations. I mean, a lot of these things, the ideas that they're conveying, are come up with. They, they come up with these with think tanks, and uh, then they, you know, give them to the candidates. Richard N. Haas meets with the candidates on a regular basis. He met with Mike Huckabee back in November or September of 2007, before Mike Huckabee surged in the polls, and I wonder why that happened. Um, I mean, they do have a certain amount of leverage in the media. Yes, Richard N. Haas, he is the president of the Council on Foreign Relations. He was uh, moderating the symposium, and uh, I, they opened it up to questions. I asked him, um, got, grab the mic, and I said, is it wise for um, us to try to influence our um, elected officials to violate their oath to the people in um, you know, these foreign engagements? Um, by um, where, where it says in the, the Constitution that these things are to be provided to ourselves and our posterity. It does not include all these other countries. Um, and I said to him, wouldn't it be better to have private organizations, you know, such as, uh, I mentioned Blackwater, or you know, churches, or whatever form that you or I choose to give to, I mean, whether it be military or whether it be financial, and, um, but that way it's voluntary. I mean, as opposed to having this American here, whether you know he may not agree with the way you choose to spend your money, taking it from him with using the government to do that uh, is certainly not the democratic process. And wouldn't it be more democratic to have private organizations uh, engage in those activities as opposed to the government because it's outside of their contract? And he kind of just said to me, after stumbling a little bit, <laughs> this guy has absolutely got the best composure I've ever seen of anyone. He just totally stumbled, and he said, he said that that it would be dangerous to allow you know individuals to have the the control over that that the government is is you know by some whatever has this authority to do these things that it's not that you know the Constitution. Well, it says we the people ordain and establish this constitution, not we the government. So, you know, he completely ignored that. I mean, that wasn't really important to him. Um, you know, he also said that they don't influence people to violate their constitution, but I think uh, they do. And I believe everyone would agree with that. 